Hello and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissheit, Licensed Clinical Social Worker with Cherubon Home Care. Glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And so very glad to bring to you some information that really makes a difference in our community. You know, we've got a, such a wonderful library system, but there's so many more things than just books at this library, as my friend, friend reminded me today. <laughs> as we welcome to the program is Tanya Harris, a certified diversity executive. Welcome to the program, Tanya. Pleasure to be here, Keith. All right. Tanya and I go way, 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 yes. way back. So she's a friend and colleague for many, many years. But also joining us, Ms. Jessica Mouton, who's the public relations coordinator and the adult services at our wonderful Terrebonne Parish Library. Welcome back to the show, Jessica. Thank you for having me. And so we have these kinds of programs like we do so many programs. Jessica, let's just talk about all of the different programs. I mean, you did headshots for Tanya, for <laughs> Christ's sake. So that's just one of the many things that are wonderful about our uh, the, the public library and what it does. Let's talk a little bit about all the things that happen over at the Parish Library. We are very honored and excited to work with the community to be right. able to offer a lot of programs for meeting needs of our members. Right. So for, uh, especially for workforce force development and for helping people after they get out of high school and they get out of uh, teaching and schooling, uh, we can offer additional classes and help for people who are trying to break into the workforce or trying to improve themselves in the business world. Right. This master class that we offer at the Terrebonne Parish Library is just one of the many programs that we offer to be able to help people who are breaking out into their field. Right. And, and so Dr. Londa Williams, the Vice Chancellor of Workforce Development, very involved, always coordinating whatever they can about bringing in uh, wonderful master classes, and, and she's a part of that. Yes. This year, right? And she got you involved on this time. <laughs> actually, I'm feeling in for her. So yes. this is actually Dr. Williams' um, uh, invitation. And right. so she was unable to be here. So right. I said I would step in for her. Well, and we appreciate that very, very much. And so let's just talk a little bit about all of the different things that are available um, through this particular master class. So tell us about this master class. So the master class coming up is what is DEI, diversity, okay. equity, and inclusion, right. and why it's important. And it's very much an honor for us to have uh, Ms. Tanya Harris and Dr. Williams with us on board to be able to give these lessons to people in the community, right. especially for people who may not be familiar with the concept or how to use it in practice in their workplace. Okay. Uh, and so, Tanya, being a part of that, just tell me about what it's like just to be a part of this. DEI is so very important in our area, but it's important to lots of people. Let's talk about why it was important and how you're excited about being here for this. Oh, absolutely, Keith. So DEI is probably an unspoken conversation. You don't see many people having conversations about diversity, equity, or inclusion. And so I think the more and more that we have these conversations, the more that we can see that people are going to onboard to the practices of diversity, equity, and inclusion. So we want to be more engaging. We want to engage conversations more on how we can develop diversity plans, hiring plans, so that people can have family sustaining salaries, so that we can have conversations regarding implicit biases and things like that yeah and and your role as a certified diversity executive that's this is your field <laughs> right yeah. this is what you do mm -hmm. about making sure that people find a way to be included and find opportunities for inclusion Absolutely. It's about having really sound conversations about creating business plans on why diversity works. You know, we all know that diversity is a win-win. It truly is a win-win. Nobody has to lose anything for the other person to gain. It's about creating pathways where people can have equitable, not equality, but equitable opportunities. Yeah, and so I think very often, what a great mm -hmm. distinction. Mm -hmm. Equality is one thing, mm -hmm. but having equity and being equitable is something different. Yeah. You know, we're not asking for everything to be on an equal playing field. We're just saying that people need to have their opportunity. Yeah. And this is a way for them to learn about that opportunity, right? You got it. You got it. You know, we sometimes don't always start at the finish line at the same time at the same place. Right. And so we want to make sure that we, you know, some people may need additional support so that we can all win in this game right. of life. <laughs> yeah. And, and so I know it for you and for Dr. Williams, it's really important to make sure that we're representing that group of people that may not always feel included, that may feel like, oh, well, I don't know, don't know if I can do this. Mm -hmm. This is what this is about. Let's talk about when and where that is and when people can get involved. 
So the DEI Masterclass will be going on at the North Branch Library okay. on uh, April 29th. It will happen at 2 p.m. Okay. The next Masterclass that we have after that, actually, is about effective communication in the workplace. Oh, my. That will be led by Dr. Uh, Strickland from Fletcher. Fletcher, right. Um, so that Fletcher. will be the last one in the spring session. We hope to have more master classes in the future, but you can always check on our social media and through our newsletter. Uh, to be able to do that. And so again, it, it's really nice to be able to see the our community and the people who are providing services to identify that need. There's a huge need for inclusion. There's a huge need for people to be aware and to know um, what they can do for better communication. We want to start with this master class to make sure that people know that they can do this uh, and where they can be. They kind of want to figure out, let people figure out how and where you want to be, right? Let's start the conversation. Yeah, exactly. At least start talking about it. And then in May, we have this next master class where we can talk about people how to be more effective wherever they are. Effective communication. Sounds like a game about plan. That, right? <laughs> Sounds then, like a game plan. And they're connected, and so <laughs> yes. that's a really good thing. And so I am very thankful that you said yes, very thankful to Dr. Williams Absolutely. for having the foresight and really mm -hmm. to be able to be aware of knowing mm -hmm. what the community needs, partnering with the library to be able to do that. So very, very thankful about that. And so I thank you both for joining us today. I appreciate that, and uh, we appreciate Dr. Williams. I'm sorry that she couldn't be here. Very glad for Dr. Alonda Williams and, and all of the things that she does for our community as y'all are doing that with and for her for this master class, April 29th, 2 o'clock at the North Branch Library, right? Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, and that will do it for this particular segment of Bayou Time, but don't go anywhere. A whole lot more local programming right here on HTV.